Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and initially this video was supposed to be my catch-all plan with me, but I decided that I was tired of my existing planner, so it kind of morphed into something else, which was me setting up a new planner to use. So I hope you enjoy the turn that this video took and continue to watch. I've been using this disc bound. It's A5 or half letter or junior size. This is the junior size ARC notebook cover. The discs are metal discs from the Happy Planner and the inserts that I'm using on the inside are from my shop and also from my Patreon. The dated inserts that I've been using are from Patreon like this. And this is what the inserts look like. So, this is what I call a designed insert. It's available in the shop at Scrap Craftastic. I have it for March in A5. I do have an April design, but I don't have it available in A5. But if anyone is interested, I will convert it to A5 or half letter. But this is what I'm using for my March monthly. I think it's time for a change. I've been in this planner, I think, since um, October it seems so I, yeah I think it's time for a change and that may be the reason why I haven't seen fit to even set it up completely yeah cuz here's something from October so I think it's time to put this away and move into something else I want to take that pen out because I really like that pen but I think I want to give one of my simply gilded pens a chance to so I went to my planner shelf and I pulled out these three. I have no idea what I was using them for. This is the black clear vinyl. This I don't know if they call this unicorn or iridescent or whatever it is. And then this is the clear one. So this is an Ollie clip. It's a little magnet that you can use as a bookmark or page mark. So this... Uh, face is a digital from my shop. I made these dividers from the templates that are available in my shop. Made the vellum. Hmm. But I don't think I ever set this up. So this is an option even though it's black and white. Here's some old spreads. Okay, so these are like the artsy spreads that I used to do. Hmm. I think this is from 2018. Yeah. Okay, so there's not really much in there. I could use the white or clear. Let's call it clear. But I don't know. Then I have this one. You can see... It's got like a blue base, but it's still iridescent. So these are from Agenda 52. I've never used these inserts. I put them in here. I don't think I want to use them right now. But I do like the cover. So here's the folder. Something I made. Just a little using a sticker. and some. Uh -uh. Honey do this. I don't know where this is from. Either Walmart or Target. That looks like a Target thing. And then this pouch and then this ruler, which is upside down. So I don't know if I'm gonna use that one. And the cover is a little messy. So let's see what the black, I think I'm leaning towards the black, but we'll see. So I have a clear pocket on the inside here. This is where I was testing the stays on ink to see if you could stamp on this uh, vinyl, if it would stay. Okay, I remember this. The, these are dividers from the Dollar Tree. These are digitals from my shop. This is from, I really need to start putting the year on things. Uh, so these are just got a notepad in here, 
So those are all monthlies. This is a envelope that I made. So this I probably was using in the fall since I used the fall paper. Oh, yep, these are 2018 unfinished spreads. Quite a few of them in here. So I could actually take these out. Another pen case. This is one of the folders, and this is another folder with a notepad and some paper in the pocket. Okay, so what do I want to do? Let me see how this would look in the front. I think I like that. I think we're going to use the black one. I'm going to take this off of the front. I'll probably have to clean that up. I'm going to take some of this out and I'm going to stick this in the back. I'll probably move into those, one of those in the summer. So I'm going to be taking some stuff out of here. Let's remove the TV series inserts. I want to keep a couple of them in here, but not so many. Because I'm not watching a whole lot right now. And then I'm going to take all of these out. I think I had the whole year done. I did. So I'm going to keep the ones that are decorated. I believe. So I'm going to hold on to those. It's going to go in the front. And then these can probably be recycled, meaning used in junk journals. I'm going to keep that in here. Let's take that out. I'm going to take this out as well. I'm going to keep that. I think I'm going to take these monthlies out. Yeah, let's take those out. Okay. And I'm going to take that out too. It's too flimsy. So, since I took all of those out, I'm going to repurpose this, even though it's a little flimsy. Maybe I can I can figure out something to do with that to make it work. Uh, I think I'm going to use my vellums over here. So, we're kind of going to combine this stuff. So, I don't want to keep opening and closing. So I'm going to do that, that, pages that I did, the spreads in here, and I'm going to take that. Now, I'm not really happy with this color scheme, but it does go with the cover, and so I can decorate it however I'm missing one. Let me get it. Oop. Oh, my bows. Okay. And what was on the front? Okay, we're going to leave all of this in here. these in the back because we don't want to throw anything away uh, I don't think that's going to go with the look that I'm going for it hasn't been punched yet 
Let's see. I can put these inserts back in here as well. And maybe this clear one will end up being storage. Um, if you're interested in these clear binders, they are fairly inexpensive on Amazon. And I will, if I can find them again, I will link to them in the description box below. Okay. So I think I'm just going to leave this one as is. Because one day I will use it just the way it is. Yeah, because we're going to probably use this over the summer. So that one is done. This one is done. And this is where we are. Okay. Let's put these in. Maybe I should laminate this. That would improve upon its stability. Let's put my bows in. Okay, so now I just really need to clean it up. And I think we'll be ready to use it. Alright, so. I am going to... I think I trimmed down the other ones before I put them in. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, I hate that that clip dented that. That's one thing about paper clips is that they dent your paper. Okay, so this is six wide and we only need it to be a little more than five and a half. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trim it down. And hopefully I won't mess up anything. So five and a half. I'm going to do a little bit bigger than that. Okay. I probably shouldn't have did that with my good blade. But what that's going to do is open up that pocket. But once we laminate it, it will seal it back. Now I have some Scotch brand washi tape but maybe I could use I was going to use my scotch brand glitter black washi tape let me see if I can find it here it is and I'm actually running low on it but then I was thinking I could use some of my simply gilded and that would give me an even more sparkle so let's go with that and it's a little thinner than the scotch glitter tapes so I won't have to worry about uh, having that raised look once it's laminated never fails I think I'm going to put it on the back side as well. So the bows are going out. I'm going to make them go out on this side too. So this is how you can take something from the Dollar Tree and make it work for whatever planner you're using. I'm not really a fan of patching things up with washi tape, but for something like this, where it's just a, a border, I think it's okay. It looks cute. And it does give a little bling to the look of it. Uh, and maybe I should put a quote on here. Or should I leave it blank? Because I have some really big quotes in the one, two, three, four book from the Happy Planner. I was just looking at it yesterday. These huge quotes. And I think someone asked me not long ago, where did I get a quote that I used on a divider like two years ago? And I really don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that it was something from this book because it has really big uh stickers I like the hustling and that would fit perfectly down there let's see I'm totally not doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now <laughs> um, 
I don't know. Because even though the sticker is clear, oh no, it's going to blend in good. Okay. Because sometimes even though the sticker is clear, it still looks like a sticker and I don't want it to have that look. But yeah, that blends in nicely. So I'm going with that since I've already rubbed it in. And so let's see if we can put something on the back. I saw something shiny that we could use. I don't like less is more. Eh. So that's it. Maybe I could do happy day along the edge. Here, Oop. jump down before I was ready. I think it's kind of straight. Okay, let's see. Make sure it's burnished down and. Okay, so I think that'll be kind of cute and pretty. Ooh, it's stuck to the sticker book. Okay, so those stickers were from one, two, three, four. And that's going to fit right there like that. I'm going to laminate before I punch it. I'm going to use 5 mil laminate. Did I use 5 mil on these? I did not. So yeah, I'm going to use 5 mil. Okay, so this is my laminate. And let's stick this in here like this. And I'll probably end up putting another one of those Target Dollar Spot pockets on the back of this. So, let's put my clip away. It's my laminator. I think it's probably warm enough. I really like to let it get good and hot before I use it. Um, but we'll see. Let me see. Let me trim this off. ahead and go for it so basically I'm still using the same size planner I'm just switching from a disc to rings and I'm switching to a clear vinyl cover um, and the, the reason that I wanted I wanted something more on the go friendly I guess you would say because I really don't like to take that white cover out of my office and I do have a black one but I didn't really want to go to that one yet so this is black but it's also clear and I think it is a nice alternative okay let's run it through again make sure we got it good okay if we're done with the laminator now I'm going to use my old paper trimmer this was the one I started using probably 2013 2014 I don't know um so I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess and get this ready to go in with a planner let's make sure we are not breaking the bubble because the bubble right there seems a little large where the pocket is. So 
want to steer clear of that. Okay. And I'm just going to round off the corners a little bit. I'm going to do that manually with just the scissors instead of using a punch. There we go. Is that open? I'm going to take my X-Acto blade and open up that pocket. So this is just like the folders that I've made in the past. When you Once you laminate it, you can just take your knife and lightly run it through the air bubble. Don't need to use a lot of pressure, just very lightly. I think I probably did it that time, yeah. So, come on. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and punch it as well. Okay, I do have a six ring or six hole punch, but I do not feel confident in it with the laminate. So I'm going to do this manually. Let me get a light color so I can tell the difference. Uh, so I'm just going to take this out and use it to punch my holes. going to use a jelly roll. Hopefully it'll show up. At least just enough for me to see where to punch. Kind of did. Holes punched. Let's put this oops, put this back. Put this on top. So this is our dashboard and cover from the front. I think that looks cute. And then it'll be even nicer when I put some die cuts or something in the front pocket. Here is another one of the Target Dollar Spot pockets. So I'm going to put that on the back here. Hopefully it'll look okay. Let's see what I've got. I got my die cuts from Capital Chic Designs. They have stickers and die cuts. I really don't want to. Mm. Let's just put it in the pocket. That way I don't have to unstick it. Okay. I think that's all I want from that bunch. I got room for another pocket up there too, depending on what I want to put in it. Uh, Maybe a washi sample card or something. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, that's pretty. Anybody noticing a theme here? I think I'm going to stick that on there. Um... With a little washi tape. Okay.
Okay, so then it still gives me the ability to tuck things in behind there, like so. Okay. So this was supposed to be a plan with me, but it turned out to be a setup with me. <laughs> we will continue with the plan with me in a separate video. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for live craft videos, junk journals, and weekly vlogs. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!